Today I present you my 1989 BMW 325i. It's a car that I've had for the last six years and the last 70,000 miles. I bought it when it had 139,000 miles and as it sits right now it has 209,000 miles so that's about 70,000 miles of happy ownership. If you stick around I'll show you the things I like, dislike and love about this car. There's many things I like about this car, starting by the looks, the boxy looks of the 80s cars I just fall in love with. The four headlights, the kidney grills, the fog lights, the white on black, uh, the vents, the functional vents that are supposed to cool the brakes as far as I know, who knows. Now let me show you the profile of the car. These are 16 inch wheels that I got about three years ago and the tires are 205 50s and they sit really well with this car the car having dropped about an inch i'll get to those details later they're ac snitchers they're really easy to clean and they look really well another modification that i did to this car was to add the is kit with the skirts the front lip and i'll show you the uh, spoiler and the trunk later another thing you're gonna notice about my car is that i tinted the windows i'm not a big fan of tinted windows especially in the 30 i just like the clean look of untinted windows Unfortunately, Southern California weather and E30s don't get along. The AC on these cars is not great. So this little change, this little modification helps out a lot in summer times in the months of July and August when it gets pretty hot. This is the IS lip spoiler. It's black. At first when I got it, I was gonna match it to the color of the car, but the black on white has grown in me. So I think I'm gonna just leave it like that. I've had it for about three years and I really like the look. Another thing that I got for this car was the plate filler. Please don't write down my plate, look it up and come steal my car. It's my daily driver, please don't do that to me. Moving on to the exhaust. This is a modification I did to this car maybe two or three years ago. The stock exhaust was already rusted and it had to be replaced. So I took that opportunity to buy this top of the line Italian made stainless steel Super Sprint exhaust. I really like the sound. It's almost stock, a little bit louder, great for a daily driver. Now I'll show you the trunk of the car. It's pretty spacey. It's okay, I can fit most of my stuff. It's empty now, but I usually carry all my stuff for work and sports, whatever. And I have a jack that I've never used. And underneath this panel, Excuse the mess. It's a full spare. 14 inch spare. Probably unused. Looks very clean, fairly clean. Underneath there is the battery. Let me show you. That's the battery. I bought this car six years ago and the, the guy that sold it to me said that it was a brand new battery and believe it or not, six years later, still running like a champ. Another cool feature about these cars is they all came with a tool set. This tool set might be missing a piece right here. It's missing this piece. Never used it though. I installed that wing with the help of my friend. I might have installed it a little bit to the left. What do you guys think? Is it centered? Let me know in the comments. My car has a completely stock engine. It's a 2.5 inline six cylinder that BMW in this form introduced in, I believe, 1988. I may be mistaken, but this is a 1989 and I think this is the second year that it came in this form. And as you see, this is no garage queen. This is my daily driver. And if you're not familiar with these cars, you're gonna notice that there's a slight tilt of the engine. The engine comes in at an angle, supposedly for weight distribution perfection. Um, I've been able to attest to that. It's a 
really nice driving car despite the fact that it's 30 years old. Moving on to the interior of the car, this is as basic as it gets. It's a tan interior that I believe is a stock color. I would like at some point to replace this tan interior with black, which is my preference. But I'll show you a couple of things about this car. The seat's not all the way to the back. So you see I have like about an inch and I'm about 5'10", so pretty roomy. I don't know about the guy in the back seat though. This car is pretty comfortable for long trips. The longest trip I ever done in a single day is about 700 miles and I didn't die, so it's not that bad. Just to give you a little reference of the space in the back seat, it's not great. I'm about 5'10", and this seat is not all the way to the back and I'm a little cramped. But for a short trip, for somebody that is a, a full grown up, it's not horrible. One thing that these cars are known for is cracked dashes. And this dash is not cracked, so that's a good thing. I really like this in instrument panels. So simple. It has this uh, MPG meter that is supposed to measure your fuel efficiency in real time. It's pretty cool. Typical of 80s BMWs and into the 90s as well. Um, I believe the E46 had it as well because I had an E46 before. It runs on unleaded gas, so that's a good thing. And right now, for those of you that have this car, let me cross my fingers. There's no lights on in the dash, except for the inspection light. As well as over here, the diagnose center or whatever you call this. My car is a five-speed manual. It used to be automatic when I bought it. That's how it came from the factory. But I replaced the transmission and made a stick shift just for driving preference. It's actually a lot more engaging with the manual transmission. There's my clutch. The AC works. The sunroof is manual and it opens like this. In all truth, I really like it. I wish the windows were also manual, less things to break down. These cars are known for their window switches to break down. So, I really like this feature. Although it's the basic tan interior, I really like the fact that it's super clean. The seats are not ripped. As far as I know, this was a single owner vehicle that I bought off a dealership that it belonged to, uh, to a lady, local lady here from San Diego. So it seems like it was always garage because the condition of the interior and the paint is really well kept for a 30 year old car. So what's the car intro without a test drive? So we have a little bit of downhill activity here. This car is a lot of fun. I've had this car, as I said many times during this video, I've had it for six years. And believe it or not, at age 46, this is the car that I ever kept the longest. I run through cars like nothing. I lease some of the cars, I, but in average, on average, I probably replace cars every two to three years. And this car, having had it for six years, is already a record for me. That tells you how much I like this car. It's a really nice, driving experience for many reasons one is pretty cheap to own uh, at first when I bought it I was a little hesitant because it had a lot of a lot of miles in it but I've come to realize that these cars as long as you take care of them they're pretty reliable cars uh, it's pretty much leak free now when I bought it, it had a major case of leaks and I was able to negotiate the price speaking about price I paid $3,300 for the car in 2013. I thought I had gotten a, a great deal because I knew very little about these cars, but in reality, I just got an average deal. It was pretty clean. That's what I had in my favor, but uh, sedans, I come to realize that are not as desirable as coupes. So this is a sedan. So when I got it, 
the guy wanted 5,000, I offered 3,200, he took him, and I thought I had gotten a steal, but seems like I just got a $3,200 car for $3,200. And being that it was so clean, all I had to do when I, when I got it was start getting the parts that I wanted to make it drive my way, which was, as I said, the transmission swap, the lowering, the, getting the, nice, the nicer wheels, and other stuff like the like the body kit, the steering wheel. In a future video, I'll go through the stuff that I have replaced in this car. I really enjoy driving this car. The steering wheel is three spoke. I forget the name of it. In a future video, I'll give you the details about it. I'm sure that if you're into these cars, you know that this wheel is a sought after wheel. I got it three years ago, four, uh, more like five years ago. This is one of the first things that I replaced on this car. It was a local purchase and I really I, I got a really good deal. The guy was just fed up with E30, so he just told me this. Has also a short shift kit, which makes the throwing of the gears in this car a lot of fun. So even though this car is not fast, it's a lot of fun. I don't think I did get rid of this car. At some point in my life, I wanted to get an 80s Porsche, but I have no room. I don't have room for a third car, so that's probably not gonna happen because it will break my heart to get rid of this car. In a nutshell, this has been the presentation of my 1989 BMW 325i. Please hit the like button, subscribe to my channel. That is all for now, my name is Juan Carlos. See you next time.